I've had some requests recently um, to do a video on the oven door cleaning so I thought I would try to help you guys with that. When you do the door it's important that the first thing that you actually do is try to get to the hinge lock. Um, I've just been <laughs> trying to take the door off and I've forgotten to do that so um, do the hinge lock and then do this bit here. Um, so basically I've taken the oven door off and I've placed it um, on a table with a towel on the table so it protects it basically and then this bit you have to be quite meticulous when you're taking the panels off. Um, I've just given the door a quick wipe down because it was a bit crummy. Um, this silver tab on both sides releases the first panel like so. So you just push them in and then this lifts up so you can see that's at an angle on both sides and then you just slide this out. So I've taken that panel off and I've just, I haven't turned it upside down or anything, I've left it as it is, I've just pushed it up the table out of the way and with the panel that's on show now I have just gone over it with a hoover attachment just to get some of the dust, any crumbs that might have fallen in between. I've um, gone th over this bit a little bit, I'll be able to get that bit better later. Um, yeah, and then on to the next panel. All you do here is lift this bit up, I think, and pull that out. Once you've removed that, it might not seem that obvious how do you get these panels out. Um, you just put your hand here where this bar is and you just push the panels up. It's a bit hard for me to show you and film this. But once you've pushed the panels up, you just pull them out like so, very gently. Uh, you can see here that you've got an arrow on the stainless steel and an arrow on the glass panel to help you realign it. Just so you don't get the panels mixed up, it's a good idea to put them on top of each other but obviously with a towel in between so that you know which one you've got to do next instead of putting them around the room because that's happened before and it can be, get a bit confusing. Especially if you've got people coming in and out of the kitchen asking you what's for lunch. Okay, so we've got three panels out now, which leaves you with the main bit of glass that you do not have to remove. So I'm just going to go over this with a hoover because you don't really get much fat or anything. It's just when you get fragments of food that drop down it, it's really annoying. So I'm going to give that a clean. Um, I always use vinegar and water for the glass. I don't use anything that's um, too abrasive. I do use a different cleaner for the panel that you can see inside the oven. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, so I'm going to give this a clean up first and then get working on the other ones. Yeah, just going back to this initial clean, one thing I will say is these minky cloths for um, just for windows and glass are really good. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that door. Um, it's quite clean. Um, the vents, I find that if you use a cocktail stick or something just to give it a good scrape down there, but then what you have to do is you then have to go this end here with a hoover attachment just to get all the bits that you've knocked down because otherwise when you put your door back on and you put it up that way all the dirt is going to drop down so it's a good idea just to you know give it maybe give it a little shake just to make sure that there's nothing there because it's it's there's nothing more annoying that, than cleaning it and then 
finding dirt. So um, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I'm now I'm going to clean the next bit of glass, um, obviously in a separate area. So that panel is actually um, quite clean already. So I'm just going to now put that back. It's important to note the arrow. This also has a seal on it, which fits in along here. So um, it, this one, I think is a little bit tricky, but it's not too bad. So that panel is now in. That just slides in nicely. Just a little tip, if you are gonna um, get some of these minky cloths, always get two because I find that if you're doing glass or windows, you want a dry one and a wet one. Obviously the wet one to get the dirt off and a dry one to buff it up, to get rid of any smears. Okay, so that panel is in, that just slides in front of the other panel and the, the seal is in between those two bits of glass. So that's important to remember. Now you have to get your clip back into place. That's a bit, it's a little bit fiddly to get in, but you've just got to be forceful. Um, you're not going to break it. It's just made that way so it doesn't fall out, I guess. Okay, so onto the next piece of glass. That This piece is the most dirtiest piece. Um, so that is exactly how it came out. Um, I'm going to turn it over and do that side first. Okay, so I've done the reverse of, uh, of the first panel, so we're going to turn it over now. And we're going to do this. This is the dirtiest part. I don't know whether you can see. This is where you're going to get your, your fatty um, deposits from cooking. So um, I'm going to go over it first with some normal stuff, a bit of washing up liquid and vinegar and um, see what it looks like. So once you've done this panel and you're happy with it, it's a good idea just to lift it up and really look at it because it can look clean, but I have spotted some dirt there which I need to get to. So just check that because you, you'll be so annoyed. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that panel. Um, yeah. You do get this around. I mean, I've scrubbed it. It's, it's just, it will come off. You could spend hours on that with a scalpel blade, which I have done before, but I'm not gonna do that today. I can't be bothered. So um, once that is clean, you can just put that on there. So you literally just place it on top and slide it underneath here and then your this needs to line up on both sides. So you're literally at where you started. There. So you push these into the slots on both sides and then you just press down. And that is it. you have a clean door. Okay, so the oven door is back on.